5 or 6 a.m. the sun started coming out. We were on the east coast, so it came right out of the sea during uh, Corliss's set. The whole nature of the event changed at that moment, actually. It had been about seeing bands and everybody's attention being on the stage, and it flipped to sort of something just different. It wasn't just looking at the sea, it was like the whole thing suddenly looked a bit more outwards. Last year, no one was together on New Year's Eve. So, like January 2nd, Caius and I decided that we would start planning a New Year's Eve party somewhere where we could have every artist on the roster and a few artists that we love. The label's always been a sum of the artists on the label. Young Turks is just a context for, uh, for artists to record their own life experiences. We work for our artists and we try and help them reach their visions. And so in the party, you're always going to try and make it feel as much about the acts as possible. looking out and just seeing all those thousands of people and flashes in the crowd and it was crazy just to see that there was a real personal element to, to this engagement. and to be able to sort of reflect on the year gone and like your ambitions and your desires for the year ahead and then to do it in a location like that with the sea and the, and the sun and the sand and just sort of the nature was just, it was, it was pretty phenomenal. 
That's why New Year's is so great. It's a chance for renewal. To have that collective, all right, this is a fresh start, let's do this. And the reason it might feel more like a family reunion than a festival is because this was just a moment for all of us to spend a great evening together in a great place.